My name is Sterling Hundley. I'm an instructor at the art department. I'm director of the Richmond Bay Studio for the art department. I've got over 14 years of experience working in the illustration industry, from magazine publications to advertising to postage stamps. Kept me entertained for a long time. I'm a painter, I'm a writer, more than anything I'm an entrepreneur. The art department is an open community that embraces technology while recognizing tradition and the importance of legacy. What I quickly realized once I got into the online classrooms was, you know, we, we were dealing with something that was a new technology that in many ways allowed me to do things that I could do in the traditional classroom. You introduced the idea of a brick and mortar school that's a hybrid of brick and mortar and online, all of a sudden you start to get the best of both worlds. When I realized that online education presented new opportunities that I actually couldn't even touch in the traditional classroom, it started to allow me to look at the entire process quite a bit differently. Wow, this is not just something that supplements brick and mortar education, it supplants it in many ways. I can now teach from wherever I want. Students can take classes from wherever they want. I can work over student artwork in real time. I co-teach with a guy who's out in California, one of the best instructors I've ever been around. He talks about something in the classroom. I can go online while he's talking about it, pull up examples in real time. We can show videos. We can do amazing things just because we've embraced this notion of technology moving the arts forward. Here at TAD, that's what we're all about. It's being open-minded enough to embrace things that will not only better what we do, but embrace the tradition and advance it. To be relevant, to be current, you have to be active. Otherwise, you're teaching from a point of view that was five years ago or five months ago. Either way, you're antiquated. And the only way to stay valid as an instructor is A, you provide timeless information or B, you provide current information. I think that our instructors bring C, timeless information and current information because their understanding of the legacy of art and how we've gotten here is so rich and so deep, yet they're bringing the solving of modern and current problems that they deal with every day to the classroom. I think that within the arts, categorically, there's an expectation of failure. I think that Parents expect their sons and daughters to fail. I think that they look at the attrition rate of the industry. I think that it's pervasive up to the institution level. The art department, we expect success. Not only are we teaching from the point of view of having attempted, having dealt with a lot of failure, but we've overcome failure and we've found success in our own careers. But I feel that we're arming people as well as we possibly can, as anyone in the world to go out and actually have a successful career. We're gonna point you towards industry. We're gonna talk about the changing landscape of what the arts means. I would have killed for something like that in school. A place where I could go and develop a community, share ideas, share inspiration, share a library, just books that students bring in and resources all the time, where the tone is set by working practitioners who are living their daily lives in the studio expected to be there painting all the time, setting the example for everyone else. The reality is that as soon as you leave a traditional school, all of a sudden you're in the situation where there is no more structure. At the art department, the education isn't just about what you get in school. We are building communities. We are building a lifeline. We're basically saying if you commit to this program, this school, and you're pursuing a career in the arts, whether it's the fine arts, or illustration or animation, entertainment, entrepreneurship, comic books, it doesn't matter. If you've committed to this as a lifestyle choice, we're gonna be here.